Oh yeah. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool origami Tato I just designed. Check it out. So it's an origami square Tato, and it's closed up, and this can probably fly like a flicker. <laughs> yep, the flicker. And check this out. So it, it opens up like this. Yep. And there's a note. There's a, there's a secret built-in note inside. See? And I wrote trick-or-treat right there. And yeah. So you can put this into somebody's Halloween bag or whatever. And yep. And it also refolds. <coughs> and now, you're back to the Tato. And alright. Want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Okay, so for this model, I used a seven inch square of Kami. And that's what I'm gonna use. So let's begin uh, white side up and let's fold in half. Try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. Okay, unfold and fold in half this way. Okay, unfold, and now fold this edge to the crease. Make sure it comes to a nice point right here. And now unfold, and now we're gonna fold this edge to the crease we just made. And don't fold it up directly to the crease, just leave probably about a millimeter of space. So about that much is good, if you can see that. Alright, now unfold. And now we're gonna do that three more times. So here we go. And I'm gonna fast forward this part. Okay, just like this. And now let's keep this one folded. Well yeah, keep this folded and fold it up like this. <clears throat> Alright? And now we're gonna do that three more three more times. So fold this up on that crease. And Fold up again like this. Okay, and now again here and here. Okay, and now for the last one, uh, let's fold up on the creases first. <coughs> Oops, I wasn't on the crease. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now this is gonna be the note part right here. And at this point, I'd, I'll just go ahead and write something. I'll write... I'll write Happy Halloween this time. There. Even though it's not Halloween yet. But, we're getting close to Halloween, so I just went ahead and wrote that. Alright, so that's my note. <laughs> okay, now let's finish folding it. So, now, now let's uh, unfold here. And now, this is actually the hardest step, I think. So we're going to unfold here. And we'll just... Lift this edge up, and let's refold on those creases, like this. See? Like this. And then now fold this edge back down. That actually wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay, just like this. And if you like it like that, then you're all done. And this is actually pretty clean looking. And yeah, but if you want to turn it into the Tato, then here's how to do that. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, there's two creases. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to this crease right here, but not directly to the crease, just leave about a, milli a millimeter of space, <coughs> like this. Because if, if you fold it up too far, the tazo is not gonna close right. Just leave a li little bit of space, maybe about a, mil a millimeter or two is good. Alright, and it should pr it should pretty much fold over that edge, or maybe just below that. It doesn't matter. Don't pay attention to the edge, pay attention to the crease. Alright, it, it doesn't matter. Now unfold that and do that three more times. So not directly to the crease, just leave about a millimeter of space. Okay, and now do that two more times. <coughs> Okay, just like this. And yeah, and it's gonna kinda fold um this like this, but it's alright, it doesn't matter. 
Oh god, okay. Alright, now we're gonna close up the Tato. So, we're gonna fold this like this, and now rotate like this, and fold this up. And, oh, on the crease you just made. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and here. And here. Just like this. Okay, now unfold. And now we're gonna do that tricky step again. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna shove all this paper inside and reclose it just like this. Okay, and there's the Tato. And yeah. Oh, and this can actually be a nice uh, spinner right here. See? Check this out. So you just make these two folds right here and. not pointy enough underneath. It's a, it's a nice spinner, you just have to make it pointy enough underneath. There you go. That should... See? Just like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, now, if you want to do that, let's just, uh, just make these two folds right here at the same time. Alright, and make the point right there. And now, just find a smooth surface. And just spin, just like that. Isn't that cool? And so, there it is. <coughs> the Origami Tato with a secret note inside. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yep. And so yeah, and uh, to have them open up, to have them know that there's a note inside, you can write something on the back of it. Maybe like, um, something like, open me or something. write something like that or unfold me I don't, I don't care <laughs> yeah you can't write anything on the front though because of these flaps so right on the back but yeah so if they see open me they'll kind of unfold us and they'll be amazed on the note so anyways there you have it all right hope you guys were able to fold that and make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think all right see you guys later Huh, <laughs> see that in slow motion. <laughs>